are today at Sai Got a New Coffee. It's actually kind of a new coffee shop. It's only been here a few months. With the usual problems, loud background music, motorcycle street noise. But today we're going to talk about the uh, camera support equipment that I use. This is going to be my first of a couple of videos about camera support equipment. I kind of like camera support equipment. I really uh, don't like shaky videos. I don't shoot handheld much. I generally am using some kind of support equipment. And I've got quite a bit of it actually for a guy that just shoots a few YouTube videos a week. Uh, this is kind of my lightweight gear today that uh, I use for selfie sticks, uh, tabletop interviews, things like that. Uh, I use these things with my Osmo camera and also with my mirrorless camera. So today I'm going to share these with you and uh, show you how I made them easy to use. I think they work really well for me. Uh, they kind of solve the, the uh, stabilization problems that you have when you try to shoot handheld uh, in little difficult situations like tabletops and interviews and things like that. And maybe this will inspire you to look at some items like this to help you with your videos. So here we go. This first little rig is what I often use with my Osmo. It's got a little mini tripod with a quick release. Uh, right now it's sporting uh, Osmo uh, battery for a riser and it also has a quick release and then uh, the Osmo Pocket with a special housing that will house it to be tripod mounted. Unfortunately, the Osmos aren't big on tripod sockets and you won't find them on one. It's easy to get around with these little brackets. Nearly everything I own has got a quick release bracket on it. It's either an Arca Swiss or one of these mini quick releases. I've kind of standardized on the two. For my lightweight stuff, I use the mini quick releases. Also for microphones, the mini quick release is really good. They're really sturdy and when they uh, are locked, they don't vibrate or anything at all. They are rock solid. This is the same little bracket with an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom. I use Arca Swiss on, on my big tripods and on a couple other little items, uh, some clamps and things like that. I do put Arca Swiss on nearly everything that I plan to use on a tripod or an accessory that uses Arca Swiss. This is with a little tripod uh, place mounted on a mini tripod. I think I've got three or four of these little mini tripods. They come in really handy. You can stick a pocket uh, Osmo on there and it's perfect for using the pocket Osmo for tabletop work. This little gadget here is an extension pole for a Fayu Tech gimbal. If you notice, I've got uh, quick release plates mounted on both ends, a male and a female, so that I can uh, put a tripods or accessories on this uh, little stick. This stick's really useful. I'll show you in a minute uh, how I use it. This is the little tripod extension pole from Fayutac. Really gets on up there. I use this little rig for tabletop interviews quite a bit. It works really good. It gives me a nice adjustment on the height to, to uh, give the person I'm interviewing the best angle. And it easily holds my uh, mirrorless camera, which is a Sony A5100 that I use for interviews. Head on this is a V-Ledge. It's a tilt head, not a ball head. I don't really like ball heads. They just uh, too many things to deal with. And a lot of times they don't hold as good as they should. But this little guy here is rock solid. See, here we are already in interview mode. Works great. You can use this camera in conjunction with an Osmo and get a wide shot and a follow shot at the same time. Or you can mount a couple of these for uh, doing an interview. Get a wide shot close up of your uh, interviewees. It really works great, and it's the same thing that's my selfie stick, so I don't have extra equipment to lug around. Over all these little gadgets, I probably didn't spend 50 bucks on all of them, except maybe that battery. The cost is low, and the functionality is just amazing. 
you can mount a pocket Osmo on top of the, uh, of the system with just uh, putting it in the little cage and the quick release and then extending the uh, pole to whatever length you need. With the pocket Osmo mounted on this pole, it works great as a selfie stick. It allows um, the Osmo to follow you and remains really steady. You get a lot of interesting shots like this. Not only this type of shot, but you can get low angle shots and things too. It's a great little tool. The maximum height gives you a lot of uh, space. It helps overcome the uh, Osmo's lack of a wide angle lens. I think it works pretty good. I don't use it a lot because uh, I try to use my mirrorless camera when I when I vlog, but uh, with this outfit right here, you're pretty well ready to go for vlogging. Of course, the Osmo has a problem with audio uh, in that it doesn't have a jack, so if you have to record separate audio, uh, use your cell phone or something to do audio. It works good, but it would sure be nice if that Osmo had a three and a half millimeter jack. Right now, I'm using uh, two cameras to shoot. I've got the Osmo going over here, and I've got this one going over here. And I'm using my lightweight equipment set. I don't have anything complicated, and everything is on quick release. So I don't have anything that I can't just snap apart. No tripod screws, nothing. Ready to go. The little Osmo is really a nice interview camera. Uh, I kind of like the Osmo One. I, I've looked at the two, but it, it actually doesn't have any features uh, that that I need. Uh, maybe the better image quality or something, but it really doesn't have any features that I need. I'm pretty satisfied with this one. I'll certainly keep it until something better comes along. I think that I've pretty much covered everything. The Fayu, the Fayu sticks. Hey, they're great. They're from Fayutech and they are a gimbal extension rod and they are really good. They lock solid and they extend to about 30 inches. They're, they're a pretty nice piece of gear. I have a quick release for all of my stuff, uh, for all of these little tripods to fit on the bottom of the Fayutech pole. And on the top, I have whatever accessory I need, whether it's the uh, tilt head or whether it's just another quick release to put the uh, uh, Osmo or other camera on. Works really good. No complaints. I'm going to see if I can get an uh, all-around picture of this gear and show you how much uh, space it takes up. It all fits in a little bag uh, with my Osmo, with my pocket recorder, with my uh, lavalier mic. I'm going to lay all this out on the table. It's uh, probably not the best place to shoot it. But you'll get an idea of what I've got here. All right, that's the whole setup. On the far right, you have my mirrorless logging uh, rig. Next to it is my Osmo uh, extension pole and, and the Osmo logging rig. Then we have a battery. It's also set up to use as an extension pole. A tripod, my mirrorless camera, uh, and another little cage that's used to put the Osmo on a regular tripod. It's got an Arca Swiss plate. So that's all the stuff I have to carry to be able to do two people interviews, to do vlogging, uh, to do just about anything. It all fits in the little green bag. <laughs> Along with my COVID mask. But this, this holds it all and I'm ready to go. In the next video, we'll talk about gimbals and big tripods and things like that. I've got quite a bit of that kind of gear too. I do have gimbals for this camera too. I have two of them actually, uh, that's a long story. They're exactly the same, but um, don't use them much. Um, just not a camera shooter. But the main thing I wanted to show was how little equipment it takes to have really nice steady video. If you got anything out of this video, I hope you'll hit the like button. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, we'd sure like to have you in the group. This is JR, the Tech Patent Saigon, saying thank y'all for watching.